morning folks, this is Kerry with 401k Dexters. I am on my way over to pick up our daughter and grandson. Uh, they are coming over for breakfast and then they are all going shopping with my wife. Um, they have a couple of gift cards that they want to use and get some clothes for the upcoming cruise that we're going on. So just wanted to get on this morning and I did look at the stock market recently and saw the pullback. Um, looked like it had been overbought and uh, had reached a peak and then the whole uh, Israel-Iran uh, skirmish, war, attacks, whatever you want to call it, broke out and uh, seems to have caused a little bit further pullback. But uh, I look back and the last video that I made about reshuffling some finances occurred right at the end of March, the 1st of April. I think I had mentioned uh, moving about $120,000 um, out of two different stock funds, a uh, large cap and a small cap, and into a stable value, which has um, treasury bills and bonds and safer assets. Looking at the numbers from the end of March to current day, which is mid-April, uh, looks like the market between those two different funds, on average, has pulled back right about 5.8%. So doing the math of 5.8% of $120,000 uh, puts a savings of right around $6,900 Let's just round it up to $7,000. So I had mentioned before that I try to keep the, our finances in retirement right about a 60-40. And by shuffling those funds around, it pulled us off of that 60-40 more closer to the 50-50 um, split and ratio of stocks to bonds. But... I'm okay with that because right now in retirement, it's not all about all the gains you can make. It's about preserving the wealth that you have. So I was a little weary of trying to quote unquote time the market, but in this instance, it seems as though I've saved at least $7,000 in the last three weeks. And there will come a time when I feel comfortable enough moving funds from that stable value back into the stock funds. Uh, I'm not sure when that'll be or what um, things I will look for in the market that will tell me it's now time to um, re-shuffle um, and allocate funds to closer to the 60 to 40 um, ratio that is our target for maintaining growth, yet protecting assets. So, um, wanted to throw this out there to those uh, considering uh, when to rebalance in retirement, um, when the market whispers to you um, that might induce you to make those types of rebalance decisions and uh, not try to pull out when the market's down and not try to buy when the market's at a peak. So that was a little bit of my experience in rebalancing in this first quarter of the first year of retirement. Hope you guys have a good weekend. It's Friday. Uh, try to get out, enjoy the outdoors, spend time with your family. 401k Dexters, out.